we just have been talking about the head, well, what's part of your head? It's your eyes. And if you're like most people, you probably dealt with some frustrating vision problems. As you've gotten older, well, for U.S. Olympian Steve Holcomb, his vision loss was not only frustrating, but it nearly cost him his career. My dream as a kid was to be an Olympic champion. It was originally meant to be in ski racing, but Bob Sutton kind of came and changed my hopes and dreams. <laughs> And bobsledding is my life. That's all I do. Being the driver, vision is critical because I have to see where I'm going. In 2000, I was diagnosed with keratoconus. I was losing my vision. It was pretty emotional, pretty hard. I was hoping I could ride it out just long enough to make it to the Olympics. I was slowly getting worse and worse and worse. And it was at the point where I decided I was going to retire from the sport because I could no longer see. I went to my coaches and said, hey, look, I don't think I can do this anymore. Being the top driver in the country, they were like, well, before you retire yet, we got to figure something out, see if we can find a way to help you. And then in December of uh, 2007 is when I met Dr. Boxer Walkler. We first had to cure his keratoconus with a procedure called C3R which is really revolutionary because it uses a special type of vitamin drops with a special type of light. You're definitely skeptical because, you know, people are going through these painful surgeries, uh, cornea transplants, and it's that simple to just sit there in the chair for 30 minutes staring at a light. That's, that's pretty easy. It's the first treatment that can cure this disease without invasive surgery. Since I've had this procedure, I've won the 2009 World Championships, also 2010 four-man World Cup champions, and then win a gold medal at the Olympic Games, which is the pinnacle of, of what we're trying to do. USA with the gold. The procedure has changed my life for the better, and it's been overwhelming. It's a change that I never thought was going to happen. Well, and, and the man that helped make this possible, Dr. Brian Boxer-Walkler, he's the doc that performed this life-changing surgery. He's here to tell us more about this procedure. So thank you for joining us. This is a cool thing that you did. And we have an animation, if you could walk us through it, of what this procedure does. So what we're seeing here is the way keratoconus weakens the cornea. It bulges out like a hernia. But what we do is apply vitamin applications and a special low dose of light that strengthens those fibers that were otherwise weakened and fraying. In Steve's case, we then came back with an insertable contact lens to restore the rest of his vision. And not everybody with keratoconus has to have that second step of an insertable lens, but that's how we did it with Steve. He had lost his vision to the point that he was legally blind from keratoconus. And then how long after this procedure was he able to compete again? Well, as soon as we got done, he literally sat up and could see incredible right away. So he came out of retirement and then last year won the world championships. And then, of course, in Vancouver, won the gold, which was his childhood dream. And he had been to the abyss when he retired. And then now to go to the pinnacle of what his dreams were, it's just it's like a miracle. It's yeah. just like a miracle. Yeah. Well, the surgery obviously got Steve his vision back, but it also helped him to the U.S. bobsled team's first gold medal in 62 years at the Vancouver Olympics. And you know what's even cooler? Steve is here today. Everyone, a warm welcome to Steve Holcomb. <laughs> I've never shaken the hand of a U.S. Olympic gold medalist before. Well, thank you. Oh, so do you, do you stare at that thing all day um, long? Yeah, I pretty much carry it everywhere I go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have it in my pocket I all the time. So you have back problems now? Uh, a little bit, actually. It's, that, it's that quite is, heavy. I love that. That thing. is way cool. It's, um, that is really heavy. heavy. I've never yeah. touched one. Can I? Whoa. Jet is cool, man. I'll come in with the yeah, scissors. Yeah, I'll just yeah, do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. So, you know, so much has changed for you. 
since the surgery? Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been life-changing, not only winning a gold medal, but, uh, you know, I've been able to kind of get out of this uh, bubble that I was living in, kind of not being able to see more than, you know, 25 feet. Uh, not to mention only, like, uh, you know, you live in this fear of this cornea transplant that's going to be coming along, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a painful procedure. Um, and it's going to take me out of my sports, so it's been it's been kind of life changing and overwhelming. And you're driving a bobsled with three of your buddies right behind um, you. Pretty much, yeah. So blind. Uh, yeah. Well, they didn't know that. Thanks, <laughs> 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 hey, Steve. We need some other kids. Maybe us, us three. Hey, could, no problem. We could. Yeah. Yeah. But we we of course okay. watch you on TV, and it just doesn't give it credit exactly how fast you're going. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like watching race cars yeah, it's, on it, TV. It's a very different and... experience in person. Um, like watching on TV, it's just like, you know, it's the same sled going down every time. But when you get to experience the sled, you know, a 1,400 pound sled going 95 miles an hour, three feet from you, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting experience. It's, yeah. it's been, uh, but it, it's, been a, it's been a great ride, so. So not only a gold medal, but now apparently something else in his honor? As a result of all this inspiration, what I decided to approach Steve with was to honor him by changing the name from C3R to Holcomb C3R in his honor. And really, he's made the procedure world famous. And now people know out there who suffered from the same condition that there's hope. And you can still follow your dreams and your passions. And hey, maybe not everyone will have a gold medal, <laughs> well, you but you, know. Can, you know what? You never know yeah, if you set your mind to something. Yeah. Yeah. How about 2014? Um, definitely. Yeah, we got to go defend it now. Yeah. There you go. Thank you as well. Another round of applause for this Olympic gold medalist. Thanks for coming on the show. Coming up, it's time to take questions from moms just like you. And from your neck down to your tummy, we're answering questions about the body parts that you're concerned about the most. So stick with us.